sweating already. Sub Tire Garage TV. Guess where we're headed today? Delamo Motorsports. That's right. Headed over there. Take a little test drive. Come with us. Let's go. What's up? So, what's today about? First of all, for those of you who are new to the channel, never been here before, my name is Pablo. I am owner, manager, custodian, gardener. <laughs> one man catch all, one man do all at the Tire Garage in Southern California. So it's a small shop here located in Santa Ana, Southern California. And uh, well, we do tires and repair autos. And that's what, it, that's what this channel is about. Showing you the everyday life, the everyday stuff, the everyday fun stuff and crazy stuff that comes in sometimes uh, at the shop. Cool. But today's a little different. Today we're headed over to Delamo Motorsports where I've, uh, there's a little vehicle that uh, spiked my interest and it's uh, it's the Polaris Slingshot. And actually, I want to compare it to the Vanderhall. The Venice or I don't know the other models, but the Venice is the one that sparked, sparked my interest just because it's around the price tag of the Slingshot. So I wanted to compare both, see how they stack up against each other. Delamo Motorsports also has the Polaris Slingshot. So I figured maybe I could test drive both. I called them up, they said, yeah, go for it. I said, hey, I've got the YouTube channel, let me record. They said, go for it, we're down. So that's where we're headed right now. So let's get going, right? Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let's go, it's gonna be fun. Hey, I'm a car guy, so this type of stuff excites me. It's exciting, let's go. Let's go, let's get going. Woohoo! slingshot either or I'm definitely coming in here for a helmet and the gear that I need man they got everything here they got stuff for from your feet to your toes to your top of your t big protective head definitely got to get one oh this one's nice actually one like this throw up the tire garage logos right here or back here Ooh, that'll be sweet this one's matte black I really like this one I think I definitely would need something for the shade too, so ah, it's too many decisions, but they got everything here. Anything you need, Santa Ana. Santa Ana location. They got a few locations, so go on their website, Delamo Motorsports. That's what they got going. <laughs> This is the Venice model. So we're doing this one first. Let's see how it feels. It's pretty comfortable. You're sitting in it. It's a small space, confined space. I'm 6'3", 297 pounds the last time I weighed myself, which was last Monday. And look, I'm kind of taking over. It's kind of like you're sitting in an airplane seat, maybe. You know, you're kind of confined. 
uh, I'm on top of this other seat. So if somebody was sitting here, I'm definitely going to be rubbing on their shoulder. So it's something to consider, which is why I wanted to test drive because I'm the slingshot or this one is the one I want. I like the fact that the slingshot is a manual transmission, but I kind of like the fact that this one's an automatic too. So it works both ways. The seatbelt, how does the seatbelt go? This is my seatbelt. The seatbelt goes this way. It buckles. As you can see, it's kind of awkward because it's, see, I'm kind of tight in here. But, but it works. So let's go, let's go, get on the way. Whoa, turn radius, radius sucks for turning. I would think it would be good because it's a small car, but see, I couldn't even turn. I think my Hummer has a better turn radius than this. Whoa. By the way, you're really low to the ground. I can literally, I can reach my hand down and touch the floor right next to me. So, really low to the ground. This feels good though, I gotta say. It feels good because it's different, way different. Oh man, in the freeway, this thing would be nuts. I would love this thing on the freeway. You can hear the turbo definitely kick in. I'm supposed to go that way, so let me go the other way. You can definitely hear the turbo kick in. So it's a little four-cylinder engine. Um, I forgot which one it was. I'll put that down on the description. But yeah, it feels it feels like you're driving maybe a go kart or something like that. Right? Alright, let's go. Yeah, you can definitely hear the turbo kicking in. It sucks in air that way. And... Oh man, this feels good. This feels good. The suspension's a little stiff, but not bad. It vibrates a lot. I'm 6'3", right? And my eyesight is right on the edge of this windshield that's up here. So my eyesight is kind of either I'm like this or I'm like this. Flies off, I'll pick it up on the way back. This thing is sick. You're gonna get a lot of attention on this thing too. A lot of attention. Suspension is stiff, you see how you bounce around a lot? I can definitely feel it. It's not a comfortable ride the way uh, maybe a Lexus or something like that would be. But hey, I don't expect that in a car like this accident there yeah that ain't good the steering wheel feels good too I definitely think the steering wheel would get hot so let's go back in yeah man this thing is nice I could drive this every day me but there's people who might not be able to who 
might not like the feel of it for an everyday use. But it feels good. <laughs> it takes off. It takes off. I'd love to try this on the freeway too. Woo! It's the Vanderhall. This is the Venice model. Okay. That turn radius sucks. Turn radius sucks. To make a U-turn on this thing, it's like driving a big ass truck. Let's see, let's see. Let's see how it is to get out of this thing. Wow. So the good part about this one is the slingshot. The good thing about this one and the bad thing about this one, you gotta wear a helmet. This car feels more, the slingshot feels more like a car. Whereas the other one, the Vanderhall, feels kind of like you're in a buggy. It doesn't really feel like you're in a big vehicle. You're fair, uh, much more lower to the ground where this one you're not as low. The turn radius is way better on this one. And I hope you can hear me right. But the ex driving experience, they're a little bit different, but they're both good. They're both fun. This one feels more sporty because you're in a, in a stick shift. So you have to shift, which is badass. I like that part in the slingshot. The other one, it feels, you're much more crowded, right? On this one, I've got room for the passenger here. So if somebody decides to come and roll with me, they fit right next to me. And I don't have to make room or, or I can throw the backpack in the back and it fit, fits just fine. Where in the Vander Hall, you've got a lot of but that's about it. It's not really boom. It's, it's your shoulders, you're close to the sky. And in this one, you're not. It doesn't feel that way, okay? So there's the big difference. There's the big difference that probably for me, for me, it makes the difference. too I like the key take a look this is getting in I mean this is getting out of the you saw how it was getting out of the uh, Vanderhall this is how it is getting out like again I'm 6'3 the seat is as far back as it'll go but I can maybe just pull my leg out push myself up and I'm out and there it's that easy to get back in it's not bad. Out of both, I really like the look of that. But I have to be a smaller guy in order to fit in that thing easier. Not better, 
just easier, right? I really enjoy the fact that this is a manual transmission too. I, I've got to say, that part really turns me on. And the feel of this car, the feel of that car is better in terms of the way it sounds. The sound of that car makes the feel of that car, of the Vanderhall, better. Let me tell you why. Because you can hear the, the naturally aspirated engine. You can hear the turbo kick in, the way it sucks in the air. You can hear all that because it's right in front of you, right? And that that's a thrill, that's a kick, that's enjoyable. At least for me, that's enjoyable. I don't think I'll get tired of hearing that, right? Whereas on the other hand, with this thing, you just hear the and more as a, we got airplanes flying overhead. Whereas in this puppy, you feel more of the, you hear more, how should I put this? You, it kind of hears like you have a muffler on a Honda engine type of thing, right? Which is not bad either. It's just, it's it's this type of car. Okay. Now, which one would I go for? Honestly, for me, I would go for the, the Polaris, the slingshot. I don't, I'm not crowded on the other person. I'm not encroaching on their space. I have room to lean this way, look, and I can lean this way. And getting in and out isn't that bad. On the other ones, the Vanderhall is not bad either, but this one gives me more space. I'm a bigger guy. Again, I said it again. It's and that makes the difference. The fact that it's stick shift. <laughs> here, listen to this. The fact that it's stick shift. A lot of people can't drive stick shift, so I won't. I won't let them borrow it because I'm definitely going to get asked to let somebody borrow this thing. And guess what? I can say no. You don't know how to drive stick shift. <laughs> so that's an advantage. And dude, this thing is fun. This thing is definitely fun. Um, I don't like the fact that you have to wear a helmet, but that's probably a good thing. It's probably how it should be. Um, but then again, if you want to take your girl out for a joyride in this thing, she probably won't want to go because she's got to wear a helmet because her hair is going to be messed up. So there's a pro and there's could be a con or a pro if you look at that point. It could be depending how you are. I know for me it'll be a con because then my girl won't want to ride this car. So if we go out to the beach or something like that, I would love to take this thing. And yet she probably won't want to. Uh, so there's something to think about for me. This is probably, I've got some thinking to do, but this is probably what I would go with. The Vanderhall, ah, the Vanderhall just has a sleek, sleek style look to it that I really, really enjoy. And the Vanderhall also, it's it's wide, it's it's wide. It, it looks like a little bullet. It's so cool looking. It's so tempting to just say, all right, I'll take this thing. <laughs> Yo, sorry, I had to stop recording because the camera was getting way too hot. It started warning me. It's 90 degrees out in SoCal today, so uh, yeah, it sat there in the sun, black on black on black. Yeah, it got overheated. So let's go inside, grab the keys. So, but I got some thinking to do. Let me decide. I like both. I'd probably swing for this slingshot because of the size. Because it'll give me more. Ah, but that vendor hall is just a classic fucking look, man. Beautiful. Woo! That was exciting. Ah, that was exciting. I really like both of them. I really enjoy both of them, like I said before. Um, I had to cut it a little short. It, it, what, I, I didn't cut it short, but I had to take off because, uh, well, the guy had was doing the sales job, so he had to attend his customers. But, um, but hey, if he gave me his business card, I'll put his information. His name's Ken. So if you're looking out for one of these, a Vanderhall, a Slingshot. They, but then again, they have Harleys here. They have Hondas, Suzukis, um, BMWs. So any type of motorcycle, any type of motorsports, stuff like that, that you like, you saw in the video, everything that they have in here, you know, give him a call. His name is Ken. Cool guy. Really, uh, really down to earth. So hit him up if you need anything. If, you, if you're looking for one of these, thinking about, they can finance. Um, so give him a call. Give him a call. I know I'll be calling him. So I think in October is when I'm thinking on, on getting one of these. So 
I'll be I'll be in touch with him. And, uh, I'll put his info down below so you guys can reach out to him if you're interested. All right. So let's get going. Let's end this uh, show on this on this note. And back on the freeway, headed back home. I've got stuff to do. It's Sunday. Open up the shop tomorrow. So catch you guys later. Hit that subscribe button. Hit, hit that like button. Hit them all buttons. Just grab that mouse and click all over the place. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. All right. Peace. Later. Hey, get to work. Get to work.